Welcome to a new mini-series where I talk about the upcoming Pokemon Sun and Moon games and speculate on some new features I'd like to see in them. I'm going to try and have a new guest for each episode. Kicking it off for the first episode, I'm glad to introduce Jason Plays Pokemon. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jason, and today I'm going to be helping Luke talk about a really cool feature that we want to see implemented into Sun and Moon. Go ahead and tell them what it is, Luke. Remember Wi-Fi battling on Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X, and Y? Well, Jason and I have an idea that can really spice the battle up. Every time you would battle, the same blue theme station would be in the background no matter what. The design of this stadium isn't bad or anything, but it just has gotten so stale after almost three years, I think it's time to change it up a little bit. But what if you were able to pick from multiple different backgrounds for each battle? We could have different environments with different stadiums. They could even go as far to affect the battle play style, as I'm sure most of you know, the move Seeker Power is a normal type move with base 70 power. However, what you may not know is that depending on the environment that the battle takes place in, Seeker Power has different animations and different moves that it can become and cause different status effects. For instance, when used in the standard Blue Link Battle Stadium, Seeker Power does 70 base damage, but it has the animation of the move Strength and has a 30% chance to paralyze the target Pokemon. There are many alternate outcomes that Secret Power can have in battle. It even has the chance to poison the target Pokemon when battling in tall grass. It's honestly so unfortunate that this move is limited because of the lack of variety in Link Battle Stadiums. Most people probably didn't even realize that Secret Power could do anything other than be a subpar move that has a chance to paralyze. This is why Luke and I think that it would be a great idea to have some sort of multiplayer stadium system where not only Secret Power will be able to be at its full potential, but Pokemon trainers will be refreshed to see like new themes when they're getting dirty in an intense battle. There would be maps based on each of the basic terrains found in Pokemon, which you can see on screen now. Just imagine having a Wi-Fi battle way on top of a mountain or even in snow or in the desert or in the jungle or something like that. Jason and I have two ideas on how the stadium system could work, and we're here to touch on them both. And before we get into this, I just want to warn you guys that this is all speculation and discussion. None of this is confirmed, we're just spreading some cool ideas to this awesome community. So the first idea is not one that will only fix the bland appearance of online battling, but will also have the effects on secret power. If you've ever played Mario Kart 7 or 8 online, uh, or Mario Kart Wii online, yeah, because so many people played Mario Kart Wii online, triggered, but I digress. Anyways, all the racers will vote on a certain map, and then through a system or random number generation, one player's map will be randomly chosen. The positive side to this method is that no one gets a stadium that will give them an advantage 100% of the time. Depending on the type of battle, 1v1, 2v2, or even Battle Royale, which is actually a new battle style introduced in Sun and Moon, each player will be able to select their desired stadium that they wish to play on, and a number generator will select the lucky winner's stadium, or what it can even be like, and this is also a suggestion that I uh, may throw in myself, is it can be sort of like the Call of Duty voting system, or I think Halo does this too, where, you know, there could be two specific stadiums available, chosen at random at the start and then the people who are participating within the battle can choose which stadium uh, they would like to play on but then again if you were only battling with one other person then I guess the random number generator system would work as well so it all really depends on what you're doing then all the players can duke it out until someone comes out victorious and for balance purposes, it would be a good idea to leave the default blue link battle stadium within the choices, just in case people don't want to deal with this minor change in the mechanics of the metagame and try something new. Our second idea would actually have no effect on the mechanics, so it's not changing up secret power, but it would still have the aesthetics change. If you've even Wi-Fi battled just a little bit, you would know about the music system that's implemented. You have so many different choices of Pokemon music to play while you battle, and you can choose it before you start. Each player chooses a separate song, and that's the one that plays on their own DS, respectively. So basically, each player would choose their stadium that they would want to battle on, and that would be the one that they battle on no matter what. So if Jason and I were gonna have an intense battle- Which I would win, by the way. Yeah, okay, keep telling yourself that. Anyways, if Jason and I were to battle, I could hypothetically pick a mountain themed stadium and Jason could pick a water themed stadium. And instead of us both only playing on one, the stadiums would differ, but only through our own perspectives. Yeah, and then I would win the battle. I don't even know why you would think that. Let's just say that your Squirtle could take the hands from my hand for us, my friend. Scarf dig Squirtle. GG no re, man. But yeah, we would each be on our own stadiums and Secret Power would retain the same effect that it has on this standard blue stadium. 
so the balance of the battle won't be affected. No matter which one of our two methods, it would be awesome to see this feature implemented into Sun and Moon and the Alola region, and I'm sure I would love to battle people from all around the world in new awesome locations. It would just add so much new flair to the game and something that would add a little bit more replay value to it as well. That's gonna be all for this video, but before we go, make sure you subscribe to my boy Jason Plays Pokemon. Hey, thanks so much, Luke. <laughs> No problem. I'll try and have a new episode of this miniseries out each month until Sun and Moon, but I guess we'll see. Regardless, have a great day everyone. My name is Jason. And my name is Luke. And we'll see you guys next time.